memorable will. Gary Phillips told his last vlog, this is the first hire boat place in the country. Captain Gary Phillips is a vlogger, a thoroughly decent chap, and Nicky, lovely people. It's three o'clock in the afternoon and you can see them start to freeze already. Oh, it looks, uh, it's cold out there, let's have a look shall we? Hey, let's go have a quick look. See what it's like. Bloody hell, it's all iced up. Ooh. It's getting there, isn't it? I don't want to get frozen in anywhere. All the ropes frozen. All the panels all frozen up. Still, still navigable though. I always like to say that word. It's still navigable, so I can still go down it. But looks of it, a little bit of ice lot. Hey, get to that Ellesmere, and then get a bus back from my van. Wonderful, lovely and crisp. Oh, God, it was cold though. I ain't telling you. Cool, blimey! Look at that. I think that's, that's a little bit frozen. Center ropes out at the moment. Then the insulation is working so well that there's no heat. It's 17 degrees in the boat, so there's no heat escaping through the roof. So that's good news. Whew, let's get in. I'll show you a lovely sight. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? I'm cruising now, anyway. Nice to negotiate. Let's hope it's not too thick. You know, let's give it a go. Not moving. Oh shit. Made structures done well are just as beautiful as nature, you know. Blends in with the landscape, it just it sort of fits, doesn't it? It's meant to be, sort of thing, you know. Lovely, it's a lot thicker here. This the ice, oh god, and the hole's all right. How thick it is there, look. Ooh. I'm literally an icebreaker. Well, there's no trees, there's lots of ice. Cut for a view, look. Oh, wow. God, it's thick here, blimey. 
Frozen, I can't. I think it's damaging my hull. It's damaging my hull. I think it's damaging other boats when I go past. God, it's absolutely freezing. Down the front of the hull. I'm scratched. I'll show you now. It's all that paintwork at the front there from the ice. It's got the hull up clean anyway. So I can't move. This is it. This is it, I've finished. I got to this bridge. I got to this bridge here so I can I think it's parking. I have to walk into Ellesmere and try and get the bus back from my van about 20 miles away. So this is it, I'm stuck here now. Oh blimey. There's a boat that's just gone up. So I'm gonna follow that boat up now. And it seems to have thawed out a little bit, so I'm gonna get cracking. Try and get up to, try and get up to Hellsmere. There we are. Let's do it. Van's 25 miles away, 
and I was dreading that I've stuck in the ice and I can't get back to it so I've got, I've got things to do you know personal things outside of YouTube oh my god there's so much weed it's all the way across the, the canal there look bloody hell 135B oh no 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 not drop time of it try and drift through Sells me up. Your shit. Beep. There was a friend of mine, uh, Mark. Hello, Mark. You're alright, mate, for listening. He was moored here last year, and I drove up to see him. And I had a look around. Oh, beautiful place. I thought I got to see that myself. It's just getting in there. It's hard in here. Eh? The weed. Oh dear. Can't expect immaculate canals though when you're in a highly populated area. Not just not people throwing it in, just wind, you know, debris falls in and all that kind of stuff, you know. So I'd expect a bit of uh, untidiness. Hey, in these areas. Mate! What do you reckon to the Ellesmere Canal? I can't use that kind of language on YouTube. 
Okay, I'll, I'll let them know you don't like it. There's a funny smell of dog meat in the air. Dog meat. Um, I could actually more here, couldn't I? That's a little more in there. Dog meat and pine from the pallets. There's a scrapyard just there as well. Could be that. I've got this. It's not a nice canal, but it's. You get this feeling of uh, Coventry all over again. I hope the basin's all right. boat in it. Look at that. So it's just that's iron plated or something riveted. This is the last bridge now before hitting the basin. You've got all the facilities here. You've got a lovely it's restaurants and museums. But they're all closed when I was here. This is a Friday I'm going in. My original thought was to moor up here uh, but this is a water point so I can't moor here so I, uh, I crack on to the locks. Get down into that basin. And this is the first lock to get in there to do it. Let's do it, show rippers. Hey. Let's do it, rippers. Sun's going down, so I've got to hurry up. Get this one all done. If you're not careful, there's no overspill. So all the water goes onto the grass if you're not careful. Stupid design. Well, this is a beautiful place. Look at these gorgeous old buildings lot. You can see those. I'm just going to get into the uh, get into the basin and then see what happens. That's how we get on. Hey Ripeth, what a place. I wasn't sure whether you're supposed to book it in tell somebody no one was about I'm going down selfish aren't I eh? selfish I turn right here and I reverse back into my spot you know clever there's a sunken boat there's a sunken boat over there I believe look at this place eh? look at these ships look at that thing there look that one over there there's no footfall Nobody walking past. There's no traffic noise. Bottoms of fans going on there. Uh, look at this. So no one's going to bother me. Hopefully. I don't know if I don't know if you have to check in or speak to somebody. I'm not sure, but I'll come down here now before it gets dark. So yeah, here we are in Ellesmere Port Basin, and the moon shineth upon me. Sunken wooden boat here. You see that? Another sunken boat here, a little GRP. Um, what these are all about, I don't know. Been there for years, that one's sunken as well. I don't know why it's happened. Seems a shame. Look at that Cuddington big old tub.